Welcome back to our mid-episode break, Namely 90s Minute. Every week we look back at a culturally relevant show, movie, or piece of pop culture that probably helps stoke the algorithm. This week, in honor of the Super Mario Bros. movie, we're looking back at the first video game movie ever. Super Mario Bros. Super Mario Bros. is a 1993 fantasy adventure film based on Nintendo's Super Mario video game franchise, starring Smee from Hook, Sid the Soth from Ice Age, Billy from Easy Rider, Krista from Ferngully The Last Rainforest, Hugo Baker from Secession, and Mrs. Dursley from the Harry Potter franchise. Mario Mario and Luigi Mario live on Earth, but there's a parallel dimension where dinosaurs have evolved into humanoids, where Princess Daisy comes from, and was left as an orphan on Earth 20-something years ago. Little Orphan Daisy, now an NYU archaeologist, student who found dinosaur bones under the Brooklyn Bridge where a rival plumbing company to the Mario Bros is trying to build a new building meets Luigi and gets taken on a double date with his brother and his brother's random girlfriend Daniela because Pauline was right there in the lore but no they went with Daniela from Brooklyn. Daisy gets kidnapped by Iggy and Spike but not before giving her MacGuffin to Luigi who chases after her across dimensions with his brother. In the new world of Dino Hatton, the dinosaur world's equivalent of Manhattan, very clever, they meet Bert who steals the gem, then go on a quest to get it back before getting back to saving Daisy. Meanwhile, Iggy and Spike have stolen a bunch of women from Brooklyn, including not Pauline, and they all band together with Daisy to escape when the Mario Bros come crashing in. Also, Daisy's dad, the king, has been turned into a fungus that is spread throughout Dino Hatton, and King Koopa is ruling over the city and wants to merge the worlds together. Also, Koopa's girlfriend is jealous of Daisy and tries to kill her. Also, also, Koopa introduces Daisy to Yoshi, an actual dinosaur listen. This film is a mess, and I'm just gonna skip to the end. They manage to escape Koopa's castle, or skyscraper, or whatever, then Mario and Koopa have a battle in the middle of the single street in Dino Hatton that we see constantly, while Luigi and Daisy hunt down Koopa's girlfriend who stole the MacGuffin to try to merge the universes together. And she dies doing that, but Daisy has the power to do it, so she does it. Bowser turns into slime, and Mario wins and saves the day. Mario Mario and Luigi Mario return to their home world, but Daisy stays behind in hers, only to show up three weeks later back to the future style to set up the sequel. That never happened. Finally, in a post credit scene, Spike and Iggy sell the story to a Japanese video game company. And that's Super Mario Bros. in a Namely 90s Minute. More or less. Join us again next Tuesday for another Namely 90s Minute. Remember, you can always hear these a day early in full episodes of Namely 90s on all major podcasting platforms, and most of the small ones too. Please subscribe and do all the other YouTube things, bell ringing, share, like, subscribe, that sort of stuff, and we'll catch you next time.